All right, guys. So we are going to look at the next part of our process of starting to add bigger numbers, three-digit numbers, and then this will carry on into four-digit numbers and five-digit numbers and all these other really big numbers. So um, we're going to look at what happens whenever we are adding two numbers together that do not end in zeros because that's what we've been working on, right? We've been adding hundred, a hundred to something. We've been adding, we've been breaking apart numbers so that we can add something to a number to make it into a multiple of 100. Um, so now we're going to look at what happens when we, that's not really a good strategy, a good choice to do. So our first problem is 247 plus 136. So I have that here. I have 247. Oh, we can't really see that very well. Let's see. I'm going to stack these. 240, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 136. Okay? So um, we're going to treat this as though these hundreds are invisible. Okay? They are invisible. All we're dealing with is these guys right here. So we know how to add two-digit numbers together with regrouping, right? We just see, okay, we add the ones first. So I have seven ones and six ones, which makes 13 ones. And then I know that 13 is over 10, so I'm going to have to regroup some of those ones into a 10 to make 100. I mean, to make another 10. So if I have seven here, I'm going to put these three with it. And all these, so I have 10 ones right here. All these 10 ones are going to get traded in for another 10. So, in the ones place, now I have how many? Can't really say it, Mr. Green. I have three ones, okay? And this 10 gets regrouped with the other 10s here. So, that's exactly what's happening on your paper. So, I had seven ones and six ones, which made 13 ones, which is one 10 and three ones. So, that 10 has to get regrouped down here with the other 10s. So, that's what we're doing here on this um, part of the problem. Okay, so we added seven plus six, we got three ones and one 10. All right, and then we um, add those 10s together. And here's where it becomes a little bit different. So now I have my, all right, let's see if I can make this work. Here we go. So I have, I'm gonna put my regrouped 10 in the middle so you can see it. So I have four 10s, three 10s, and one 10, which is exactly what we have over here, right? Four 10s, three 10s, and one 10. So when I add all those together, what do I get? How many? Eight. Eight tens. So now I put my eight in the tens place, right? I'm good to go there. Now the only thing left to do is add the hundreds. So now I have how many hundreds all together? One, two, three. So two tens, I'm mean, sorry, two hundreds plus one hundred is three hundreds. So let's practice that on our paper. So looking at this, we're going to do, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line from here all the way to here, getting really close to those words, okay? And we're going to split it in half like that, and then we're going to split each half in half. And we're going to say one, two, three, four. I know there's writing in here. We're just going to we're just gonna pretend like it's invisible. It's fine. All right, so our first one is 129 plus 203. We're going to write that little right here. You're going to have to write kind of little because these boxes are kind of small, okay? So I know that that would look like this. I would have, um, let's write that like this. Let's write 203 plus 129. Make sure you have room underneath to write your answer. And let's build it. So we have 100, 200s. I don't have any 10s in 203. And then I have three ones, right? Let me zoom it in so you can see a little bit better. And three ones. Here I have 100. I have two 10s. And I have nine ones. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add those ones together. So I know three ones and nine ones makes 12 ones, right? So I'm going to take just that one one right here, and I know that this is going to become another 10, right? Let's make that another 10. So I now have two left, two ones left, and I regrouped that 10. So now I have two 10s and one 10, which makes three 10s. And then I add my 200s plus my 100, and I get... 300s. Look what you just did. You just added three digit numbers. Crazy. Amazing. All right, let's try another one. Sorry, you're, you're kind of having to write a little bit small, so make sure you're doing that. Let's do 262 plus 119. And let's do it right here. 262, 119. 
my plus sign, make sure that you're adding, or that when you're writing it down, you're doing ones on top of ones, tens on top of tens, hundreds on top of hundreds, okay? So let's build it. 260, so six tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two ones, 362. One under 19 would be 100, one ten, and nine ones. Notice how I'm putting ones under ones, tens under tens, hundreds under, under hundreds. Okay, so I'm going to add two, two ones and nine ones, and that's going to make a 10. So I'm going to put this 10 up here with these other 10s, okay? And I know I have one 10 left. I'm sorry, one one left. So I'm going to put a one in the ones place, and I'm going to show where I regrouped that 10. Okay, and so now I'm going to add all those 10s together. So I have six, well, six 10s and one 10, and I'm going to add the 10 that I regrouped. So that's a total of eight 10s. Okay, and then I have two hundreds plus another hundred, which is three hundreds. So I have a total of 381. All right, so exactly what we just did on these two problems, you're going to do on three and four from below. So 288 plus 306 and 469 plus 228. Just write small, draw your pictures, make pretend like that is just invisible. It's fine. And then if you flip it over, do not do anything on the back. Nothing on the back. That's not, you don't need to play that. Um, and then we will talk about it more tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.